Hello, welcome to another video from Avenue X, looking at Chinese dramaland in the past week and happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Hope you're having a good time wherever you are on this planet, even if you don't celebrate Christmas and this particular holiday, hope you're doing well. And let's get right into talking about Chinese dramaland in this week. We do have quite a few things going on. On the 21st, Another light on from Ai Qiyi's mystery thriller drama category drama, Went Life. It is a 12 episodes short drama led by Zhang Zifeng, Mei Ting, Wang Yanhui, Hui Lai de Nu Er, literally meaning the daughter who has returned home. The English title is Homesick. So far, as I'm filming this video, they've aired five episodes already, and it's a daily updating drama. So, right around the end of this year, this drama is gonna finish airing. So far, I'm actually really, really happy about this drama. I haven't seen a good light on drama for a while. Since the Bad Kids and Long Night's success, we really haven't had another super well written and significantly enough good light on drama. And I'm not gonna spoil this drama for you because it's definitely one of those you need to go and watch and figure out about it yourself type of drama. If it turns out to be a great one, I'm definitely making a video on it. Then on the 23rd, literally today as I'm making this video, an IGE drama, yeah, another one, <laughs> has just gone live. This is a metropolis romantic young adult drama and it's called Gu Dan De Ye Shou, The Silence of the monster. <laughs> Why do I say that? Okay, so this drama is led by Bi Wenjun, Zhu Zhengting, Sun Yihan, Zhang Bojia. They've all been in other dramas recently. If you watch a lot of Chinese dramas, you'll recognize each of them from kind of different dramas they've been in before. Actually, all four leads, they are the type of tall and slender people. <laughs> so it will look very harmonious when they show up on screen together. They will all look like models. Then on the same day in Chinese cinema, a film will be released. Judging by current rampant COVID situation in China where it's likely that 90% of the people in China are gonna get it in no time, I doubt anybody really wants to go to cinemas. It probably would just be the drama fans of this IP who would wanna go, which is Xiang Jianli. <laughs> Someday or One Day, one of my favorite dramas in the last couple of years. It has actually already premiered in uh, selected locations. I've already seen people doing reviews who rushed to cinema. It's still led by the original cast, Ke Jianyan, Xu Guanghan, Shi uh, Boyu, plus I think Jin Shijia plays a new role, but not that important, but also important for the plot. Based on a very trusted person's review, okay, I've seen, and their review is for the lovers of the drama, uh, it's still very worth watching, but if you haven't watched the drama version before, I highly recommend you watch it before you go and watch this film, otherwise you wouldn't quite understand why everybody is reacting like that. So for all the lucky people out there who can actually see it in cinema, have fun. Then one day after Christmas on 26th, a drama will go live on Youku. See, like the platforms are desperate. Just chuck out everything <laughs> before the end of the year. Let's just get more KPI, which is called Ni Hao Zuo Tian, literally meaning hello, yesterday. But the English title now is Never Grow Old, and it's a campus drama, high school campus drama. Some very interesting young actors, Ren Ming, Guo Junchen, Sun Yihan. So Sun Yihan would have two dramas airing pretty much at the same time. One is the uh, monster on Ai Qi Yi, and this one. <laughs> <laughs> on Youku. And it focused on a group of youngsters at the end of their high school, pretty much last year of high school. And it's set at the end of 90s. So 1997 is the year when the story is set. So another option for you to choose if you're into this type of drama, then yesterday, right before I went to sleep, the news came out finally, for sure, for the drama Fu Tu Yuan, led by Wang He Di, Chen Yu Qi, Zeng Li, and He Ren Dong. I'm pretty sure. All my audiences, like 90% of my audiences know what this is. As I was making my live stream yesterday, it hasn't been confirmed yet. But right after that, pretty much, it's confirmed. It's gonna go live on the 27th. Definitely, like I said, they're gonna try to squeeze it in before the end of the year. Based on IP and Wang Hedi playing a person who pretend to be a eunuch, to revenge a very close to him person's death, period drama. Don't need more introduction. You've already seen enough material about this drama. He's still dubbed, yes, in this drama. And then the biggest worry I have for it is 
female lead. Sorry about that, but uh, track record, right? Matters. But it's gonna go live on 27th. So soon enough, we're gonna see if this drama is worth watching. And then let's talk about a couple of other drama news. There is a drama that has just wrapped two, three, two days ago. Da Li Si, Shao Qingyou, White Cat legend. This is the drama led by Ding Yuxi and it's a period setting, more specifically Tang Dynasty setting drama about an investigator of crime working for Da Li Si, which is the organization back then that investigated <laughs> big cases. The position that Lu Lingfeng will get at the very very end of Strange Tale of Tang Dynasty, almost like an easter egg part of that drama when he goes to report for his position and they told him they have like over 10,000 cases or something <laughs> that's unresolved. So that's pretty much the same kind of work that Ding Yuxi's role is gonna do. And this is based on a manga where the main lead is a cat, like literally white cat. Cat face, cat head, cat, cat, human, human cat. But in the trailer and also in the special feature video they've released upon wrapping shooting, you cannot see any cat thing. <laughs> so I don't know if they've completely taken out the white cat element and just made it pure human story. Maybe that's the only way you can do it. But honestly, it's Tang Dynasty, so technically, <laughs> you should be able to be any supernatural being. Let's wait and see how that one is gonna turn out. Then we have a drama that has started shooting during this week. Another very similar nature drama focused on crime investigation in ancient times setting called Feng Yue Jinnang. Under the Moonlight is gonna be led by Jai Zilu and Hu Bingqing. It's made by Tang Ren, that old company. <laughs> once used to rule Chinese dramaland for a while and then kind of declined to. Uh, mm, mm. And the female lead is like a version of Lu Lingfeng who investigates, who works for the county magistrate type of thing. And the guy is the Xian Ling, so the, uh, yeah, the county magistrate. Then the girl is actually under disguise. So she's a woman pretending to be a guy being an investigator working for the male lead. You know, it's not reasonable to hope that any of this type of nature drama would be as good as, say, Imperial Coroner or Strange Tale of Tang Dynasty, but um, Tang Ren. Remember, there was a time when you were the king of Chinese young audience-oriented uh, drama producer. Try harder. Then, to wrap up today's video, there are a couple of dramas I'm gonna quickly mention. They have all recently received the license to air in China, which means they can all air tomorrow. Technically speaking, it's all allowed, but obviously platforms will have their own plans for when to release what. So the first one is a contemporary one I've talked about once before, Gui Lu Road Home, led by Jin Boran and Tan Songyun, about a couple who were very close when they were young and then, mm -hmm, and then many years later, they come across each other again when the guy has already become a, a, like a special force soldier or something and these two haven't seen each other for years. Then they highly anticipated the Chang Yue Jinming till the end of the moon. Fantasy period drama led by Bai Lu and Luo Yunxi has also during this week just got the license, so they can go anytime. I don't think they're gonna put it out before the end of this year just because there's so much already competition among dramas now. Very likely January. Although where's An Lu Zhuan? <laughs> Come on. Can we just see An Lu Zhuan before that? Because people are forgetting about the existence of that drama. And then, yeah, Fu Tu Yuan is already announced its airing date, which also during this week they got the license. So they're pretty fast. Got the license and then boom, we're gonna put this drama out. Then there's another contemporary drama that has just got the license called Something Ye. Here we meet again. That's the English title. It's led by Zhang Bingbing and Wu Qian. I haven't heard about this project before, sorry, but if you've heard about it, well, this drama has also got the license. And it is a contemporary setting to sort of ambitious people who are very career oriented, sort of meet and then type of metropolis romantic story involves their own professional side of things, but also romantic relationship, the type of mm -hmm, dramas, you know, the type of if they write it really well, potentially could be a really good drama, but it's not going to be sort of super hinged on any supernatural, any spectacular element drama, it would just be a more realistic thing. In terms of nobody has superpowers, but sometimes this type of more realistic dramas are the most unrealistic dramas in this whole world. So these are the things I've collected for Chinese Drama Land this week. If you want to hear me talk for two hours, mostly about dramas to look forward to 
next year, then you can head over to my Thursday live stream, time coded what are the dramas I talked about at what particular time. The next weekly report would happen on the 31st, which is perfect timing. I hope you're doing well and I hope this is a great Christmas for you. Great end of the year, get together with people you love and have fun. Whether it's like that, minus dirty vibe, <laughs> or super hot. Please take care. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy.